What's up everyone? It's Nick with the Buzzlocks YouTube channel and today I'm going to go over how to update Linux. Now this is the first step I like to do after installing Linux. I really think it's important to, to update um, update everything when you first uh, install Linux. So this is the way I do it and it, and it works pretty good for me. Um, first thing I like to do is I like to update the kernel. So to update the kernel you want to go to uh, view and you can, you're going to click Linux kernels. Now this is going to bring up uh, the different kernel options that you have uh, to install. Now currently I have the um, for Linux Mint 17.1 uh, you don't want to go over 3.13 uh, so don't, don't install 3.16 you wanna you can install the 3.13s though. Now by default it comes with uh, 47 as the recommended one or 37, but I went ahead and I installed uh, 45 here. Um, so and this actually helped with my Wi-Fi. I was having uh, sporadic Wi-Fi signal. I would I would lose it after like five minutes. Um, so I think this kernel brought over some kind of uh, driver for my wireless um, USB wireless card that definitely helped my Wi-Fi. So that's why I like to update first. Uh, you download that, and then it will ask you to reboot the computer or just go ahead and reboot the computer. And uh, remember, for Linux Mint at least, uh, 3.13 a dash, uh, the number is the highest you want to go. Uh, I wouldn't. Uh, I'd check with your um, distribution to see what kernel upgrade you can upgrade to because uh, I know 3.16 uh, you shouldn't do on on Linux Mint. Okay, so next up after you reboot the computer after the inst uh, uh, kernel update you should no longer have Wi-Fi issues or uh, dropping Wi-Fi randomly uh, and all the time so Next thing, you're just going to click refresh here, and it's going to find some in your update manager, and it's going to find, um, it's going to check the repositories for any updates you might have. Now, I think when you first install, uh, when you first do the updates, there's only going to show like one update for you, uh, but once you install that, it will bring in like 80 updates. You'll have a ton of updates to do. Uh, so after you install that first one, you can just click it and click install updates. Uh, then if you refresh a second time, it will just pull in like a ton of updates to do, and then you can just install updates. Now for me, uh, with my wireless, I, I don't have very good wireless card or router for that matter, so it took a really long time, and I actually ended up just shutting down the computer, bringing it over to where my uh, modem is, and just using Ethernet to, to update everything because it was like night and day difference, so much quicker to just do it that way. Um, so yeah, that's how you do updates here. Um, there are a couple more settings you can do. If you go into Edit Preferences here at the top, um, you can select whether or not you want uh, Level 4 and Level 5 updates. Um, it says they're unsafe and stuff like that, but uh, they're pretty stable. So I went ahead and updated these uh, as well. Uh, these come unchecked, but you can just check them. And then you can... Uh, search refresh again and install those updates um, now if you go to uh, auto refresh by default it refreshes every 30 minutes which is kind of uh, kind of a, a lot to be refreshing so I just went ahead and uh, set it to three days so every three days and 30 minutes it will refresh uh, it will ref we'll look for more updates pretty much it, it automatically looks for updates this way so I went ahead and added three days so it wasn't trying to do it all the time. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the updates once you have those installed. Um, now, as my next video, I'm going to go over installing NVIDIA drivers. So stay tuned for that. This is in my, this is video is part of my Linux series here. I'm actually doing, a, if you're new to the channel, I'm doing a, a really inexpensive Linux gaming computer. 
uh, and going over like different steps involved with what I experienced as a new Linux user. And uh, I'm going to be doing like game benchmarks, how to install World of Warcraft, how to install NVIDIA drivers and stuff. So stay tuned to my channel if you're interested in that kind of stuff. Thank you for watching. This is Nick with the BuzzLux YouTube channel.